yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to be at home like for one day now. So we are wa we are waiting here since 12, uh, 12 o'clock. So it's been a long time here. Nuria Rodriguez just wants to get home to Brazil after a seven day trip to New York turned into an eight day visit after powerful storms meant her connecting flight was canceled. I had to return my car and then go to the terminal and there is no air train now. So the bus, the bus stuck, stuck in the same traffic. So and the here air I train am. isn't working? Here I am missing my flight. Morty Porush couldn't believe the hours-long traffic tie-up to get into Newark Liberty International Airport. It may mean he misses his flight to Tel Aviv. Airlines for America, the airlines industry's trade group, predicted more than three million passengers during what could be the busiest day ever recorded for American air travel. Combine that with stormy weather, and you have flight delays of up to three, four, five hours, and cancellations. What's frustrating is Uber, Lyft, the cab line. It's very tough to get home tonight. And so even the car service is private, you can't get one. And it's all weather related. And even if your flight was close to on time, just look at the lines for taxi cabs. More and more frustration. I'm only angry that the service that I've been using for 30 years should have been here with my name being held up that I've been using for 30 years. And they called to tell me they were running 45 minutes late.